Hey guys, this is Kirov speaking and today we are going to take a look at two things you've been looking forward to. First of all, that is uh, more car bodies and second of all, we have sortable managery listy things and we are going right into it to take a look. So lists first because they are so nice and plainly visible to everyone. Um, you can now click on the appropriate heading up here and get the list sorted. Like your lists of lots of engines, depending what you're looking for. Like the most powerful or the most torque, because you want acceleration. But, of course, everyone playing automation properly knows that torque doesn't accelerate a car. So, um, what more do we have? Well, we are going to build a new car. And that car will be special. Um, okay, first of all, we need a new platform, and we call it the Redneck. Redneck. And that has a very specific reason, because there is a certain car body in game now, which loads of, uh, because Murica, people will enjoy. As you can see here, we do have the first light truck in the game. It's not that light, I would say, but then... I'm not in America, so yeah, that's 3 meter 11, uh, 222 inches of uh, wheelbase. Anyway, we select this one, and then we move on to, uh, oh, no, no, mon monocoque, no, 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 you, you know exactly what, what this is all about. So, uh, what are we going to take, like, shitty galvanized steel stuff, and has to be front longitudinal and Macpherson and solid axle coil, I would say. Not going quite as bad with leaf, but that should that should do. And of course the car has to be made out of plastics? No, not really. Steel! Steel, because because steel. Um, let's choose the corrosion resistant one. Not make it too awful. Let's uh, design something. Oh, new growth. Okay, yeah, let, let me put on some new growths. Oh, so I, I go ahead and design this car to make it proper, and I'll do that. Alright, I think I'm uh, kind of done here. So here we have the uh, Redneck platform, and it truly is true to its namesake. Um, we have lots of place for anything you want to pack back in here. Although I think the the cargo box isn't 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 quite there yet. Um, anyway, so we are going to continue onward, and we are making a new model out of this one, and we call it the Yeehaw, because that's an appropriate name, I guess. And now, no, we don't make it gold plated. Uh, that would be too much. Um, so, kind of dark bluish. No, oh, that's looking kind of nice. So, longitudinal all-wheel drive and we build a new engine. What engine could be placed in there? Maybe an inline 4 1.5 liter turbo engine? No, 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 not quite. Um, but it's a uh, cast iron, of course, cast iron. And it has to be big. And one thing you will notice here, it's um, all arrows are green, and this is a 10.8 liter engine. Hmm, interesting. Even more power. We could eat more, but we don't want to. So reliability, it's all good. And now let's continue on building this one. Hmm, what do we do here? It's an automatic, of course, torque converter, and it's four gears. Now oh, let's do it five. Um, how fast can it go? Pretty fast. Spacing. No, you need a bit of off-roady capabilities for this one. And we do a um, clutch limited slip diff, I would say. Yeah, that sounds good. Here, chunky off-road tires. And, oh no, I forgot a thing. 
and that is to make the wheel wheel arches wider. <laughs> so now now we are stuck with ridiculously tiny tires. <laughs> perfect, perfect. So let's make them really skinny and high. Oh my god. Okay. How much how much does this one fit on here? Oh it's huge. 21 inch and there's still a ways to go. Okay, so let's do a 19 inch and put on something which looks a bit fan more fancy. And we did it. We are on the final testing page and <laughs> see what this one does. Okay, lots of prestige, probably from uh, its huge footprint. And uh, let's go to the test track and see what it does here. So, um, even though we're in America, there are probably also airfields test tracks there, so let's see how it performs here. It's a pretty fast truck, I would say. The braking is absolutely horrendous. Um, And but it's it's reasonably fast. Uh, a quarter mile of 12.66. But anyway, uh, that is one of the new cars. And of course, that's now saved. If we make another one, we do also have a uh, another old-looking new car. So basically, it's it's just a rescaled version of this one with a bigger trunk, as you can see. Uh, that's that's kind of an interesting thing. You can basically make all the cars which you know from from the olden times by just taking this base model and deforming it slightly. Saves us a lot of work, of course. And yeah, it's looking authentic, I would say. All right, guys, that's all for now. And hope you enjoyed. And see you guys next time.